In question two of this series, we're asked to find the equation of a cosine curve. So this is a cosine curve. And what we have to do is represent this curve in the format y is equal to a cosine bx plus c, where a represents the amplitude, b represents the cycle, and c relates the phase shift. The first of these three letters we can find is the amplitude. Notice that our wave oscillates between 2 and negative 2. Therefore, our amplitude has to be 2. The amplitude is the height from the center line to the peak of its maximum or minimum. So from here to here is 2 units long, and therefore a is equal to 2 cosine bx plus c. To find this b value, which represents the cycle, you have to take a look at the period of one cycle. So here's one completed cycle, this peak to this peak. The distance from here to here can be found by subtracting this x-coordinate with this x-coordinate. What that will provide is the period. And with the period, you can find your cycle, which will represent b. Here's what I mean. Our period is the end minus the start of one cycle. So 5 pi over 6 minus pi over 3. We have to subtract this number with this number. That's not hard to do. All we need is a common denominator. Multiply this by 2 and this by 2. Now we have 6 at the bottom. And at the top, we have 2 pi. So 5 pi minus 2 pi is 3 pi. This reduces down to pi over 2. I just found my period. With this, I can use the formula period is equal to 2 pi over b. Now, because our numbers are in radians, you have to use this formula in particular. Otherwise, instead of 2 pi, you would use 360. So I'm going to replace this period with pi over 2. And now I have to solve for b. Whatever b is, I can replace back into my equation. And here's how to solve for b. You do cross multiplication. 2 times 2 pi is 4 pi. And b times pi is b pi. Isolating b, we divide both sides by pi. This gives us b is equal to 4. Now that we found b is equal to 4, I'm going to place it right here where I get y is equal to 2 cosine bracket 4x plus c. My last step is to find c. c relates to the phase shift. The phase shift is how much that wave has moved from the original position. Originally, without a phase shift, the sine curve would look like this. It would start up here, make its way down halfway through the cycle, and then go back up. This means that if it started over here, and now we have a wave that's over here, then it has been pushed this much of a distance to get to that point. How much is this distance? All you have to do is look at the x-coordinate of this point. It's pi over 3. So our phase shift, through visual observation, is equal to pi over 3. And the formula that relates phase shift with the cycle and the letter C is the following. Phase shift is equal to negative c over b, where b is what we just found to be 4. So I'm going to replace pi over 3 with the phase shift. Negative c is my target, and replace 4 with b. A little cross multiplication here, we end up with 4 pi is equal to negative 3c. Solving for c, we get 4 pi over negative 3 is equal to c. So our final equation is y is equal to 2 times cosine 4x minus 4 pi over 3. Before we conclude, a lot of students may get a different c value. And that all depends on how you perceive the phase shift. The way I saw it was that my cycle started here and ended here. But if you decided that you wanted this to be your phase shift, then you would assign 5 pi over 6 as your phase shift and then solve for c. Obviously, that would give you a different c value. Any variation you choose, as long as it's consistent with the wave, is correct. And so there you have it. That is how to find the equation of a cosine curve.